Behold. My stuff. Ooh. Let's start at the front here. This is my mobile anvil cart. I got a 60 pound cast iron anvil here and a 90 pound steel anvil here. All my forging tools are located around it and it tucks up neatly underneath my table saw when I'm not using it. Then right next to that tucked away in here, I have my knife forge. Aptly named Jordy, the forge. Propane bottles associated with that. And it's my six inch vise. And I use this mostly for metal working and uh, burning stuff and anything that I need to use a vise outside the shop for. And let's start with this wall over here. This is just storage. I have my data blades, propane tanks, works in progress, chemicals, quench oil, stuff for forging, um, canned goods. These are all my non-perishable canned goods. Uh, below that I have my cutoffs bin, metal bits, old tools and stuff, bunch of wood bits, signage, that kind of stuff. And on this wall we have wood storage. I have smalls down here, have long pieces there, and medium pieces way up there. And below here, more wood bobs and bits, piece of metal, casters, oak barrel staves, more tools, tool belts and aprons and whatnot, fire extinguisher, clamps. We have my drill hangers, some clamp storage. We have my spindle sander below, and underneath that we have my pancake air compressor with the extension hose there. And above that I have a bunch of extra batteries, battery chargers, all my, well not all my, um, sandpaper, and, um, what are those things called? Angle grinder utilities. Next to that have my 10 inch Rikon bandsaw. Below that, I hang my angle grinders and tools. Underneath that is just miscellaneous storage. I have an extra fan. I have shop rags, foam, that kind of stuff. A couple extra chargers hit over here. And this is my ancillary tool bench. Let's do a little sweeping thing, yeah? Oh yeah, because I got a bunch of crap up here too. You see? All right. Uh, but back here I have Tool cabinet, measuring, cutty bits, screwdrivers, wrenches, hammers, and stuff. Air tools are stored back here. Tape, bending jig, pocket hole stuff, safety gear, rope, ratchet strapping, electronics, or electric stuff. Tools that I don't touch as much below. Um, and jigs, like uh, I have a, um, what's that thing there? What do you call that thing? That is... A dovetail jig right there, Dremel stuff, yada yada. Uh, back here, I have all my bits and bobs storage, so you can see all of my hardware. I just got this new one in because I was I ran out of room, so I have all that. Hand tools, which I need easily accessible. Up here, I have storage bins. You can see I have a bunch of those over there. Um, I actually have a video on this, but we're not publishing it to the channel. We're publishing it to Patreon. So if you're interested in checking that out, go to Patreon and see me build these. These things. Um, and then just a bunch of more hardware, hand planes, uh, more sandpaper storage, etc., etc., etc. More clamp storage over here. Ladder. Ladder. Miscellaneous metal bits and stuff behind my trash cans. Again, this is my garage workshop. And some more clamp storage. Again, trying to fit everything where I can in this place. Again, lots of crap. Over here, I have my grinders. Right here. And over here. This is my buffing wheel and waxing wheel. It's my grinders. Here is my drill press. Drill press. This is my drill press. Below that, I have more tools stored. My 
cobalt miter saw this is like the first power tool that i bought other than a drill uh, which sparked all of this some more clamp storage back here cutoffs and here's my air system i'm using a shop vac a 12 gallon that is plumbed up over to my table saw over here and it goes up and over and back and down to my spindle sander and my bandsaw. We have my workbench. I recently found some pictures of my shop before I even started doing much at all. Um, and, I'll, and you'll see all that. But I have some storage underneath the projects and stuff. Um, I have sanding stuff, more anvils, heavy things. I always have my DeWalt orbital sander, random orbital sander, plugged in, ready to go right there. Uh, this is where I do a lot of my sanding and finishing and painting and priming. Um, more storage underneath there. My rigid planer. Have my other stuff here. Some hand tools for measuring. Hand tools for bopping. Hand tools for cleaning, measuring. Bench dogs, all that stored here. And my built-in wood vise. Come over here, tucked away on the side, we have my welding cart. With my Fursys MP200 welder below there. Over here, I have my router table on a mobile base. Router and router bit storage down there. And up top, I have my benchtop lathe, which I'm working on getting going in. So, should have some more lathe videos coming up soon. That's Peter. You can see this is storage. My wife is an artist, illustrator, and children's book author. Um, she does a bunch of craft fairs, so she has some of her storage over here. I have all my metal storage back here. You can see rebar and angle iron, stuff like that. Boxes of stuff. We like tag sales. We like picking stuff off the side of the road after tag sales, particularly um, when it's free. So this is some of our recent haul here. More storage bins. I also do craft fairs and stuff, so I'll, I have some storage bins over here. And because it's a garage, we have bikes. Miscellaneous garage stuff over here. Wood, plywood sheet, cutoffs, firewood. Now that we've had a chance to take a look at my garage workshop, let's go inside and take a look at the basement workshop. Here we are, my basement workshop. This used to be just for the winter time. However, I'm using it full time now in addition to the garage workshop because I always have just so much stuff going on. Um, as you can probably see, if you look at last year's video, cue clip, <laughs> things have changed quite a bit. Not really the structure, however, the organization and just the amount of stuff. So over here I have storage for foam, leather, Tubes. He's got worms in his tubes. tubes. All sorts of stuff up here. Down here, this is where I do a lot of my leather work. As you can see, I got my poor man's leather stitching pony here. I do all of my Glowforge refinishing in here. All that kind of stuff. Stuff that doesn't need to be out in the garage. Under here, I have storage and more storage tape rack, more storage, and this year I've definitely upgraded the lighting just by adding some more lights in here. As you can see from this video here, the lighting wasn't so good. Now it looks a hell of a lot better in here, don't you think? And in here I have my mobile cart, which I use pretty much as a storage top. Um, have a little knife sharpener over there, some additional storage underneath, holds my clamps for the inside here. Um, and on top of the workbench over here, I have a old piece of tile, just like I have up in the workshop upstairs. I have my cutting mat, I have a piece of leather, so I have a non-marring surface to work on things. I use this thing as my main work surface out here. Another piece, some tools, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, that's over here. And have some paint storage and stuff over here. This is a nice find on the side of the road for all my flammables. The other work area that we have down here is just over this way.
pool table here, which almost all the time has a piece of 4x8 sheet of plywood on there. So we use this for cutting, we use this for wrapping, we use this for shipping. We got our shipping supplies over here. Um, over here in the corner have one of the stars of the show, which is our Glowforge Pro. Have this on the table so we can slide it out. Have ducting vented outside. There's a video on that below. Um, have a dedicated Chromebook because you can get these things off of eBay for 25 bucks. So this is used to control the glow force. So it don't have to come up and down, 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 up and down with my uh, laptop every time I need to do things. Um, have storage cart for Glowforge materials, cutoffs from Glowforge materials, extra stuff. Uh, my wife has some of her stuff over here. Um, have screen printing stuff up there. Um, so yeah, so we have a huge area here that we can still use for all of our projects. Thank you for joining me for my home shop tour 2022 um, here at Varro Industries, Jeff and the New Janky Workshop. Uh, click for other videos for the main shop tour. Ryan will have a video coming out soon as well for his home shop tour. And if you want to see how things have changed, we'll also have a link to our playlist up here, which will show our shop tour videos. So you can look at shop tours from last year and in previous years, depending on when you're looking at this, how far in the future you are. Thank you